what's going on Scorpio gang 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 hope all is well with you guys to my Scorpio kisses mm -hmm. I love 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 you guys the moon and back you know that to my returning OG subscribers what's popping what's shaking what's good to my newest subscribe hey y'all welcome 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 thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow I really appreciate it to those of you who donate, comment, like, subscribe, and share, you're totally amazing. I love, love, love you guys too. This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anywhere you got Scorpio placements in your chart, grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your H2O, your Bible, your Quran, your Book of the Dead, your cat, your dog, Scorpio, whatever it takes. To keep you tapped into these energies like we always do around about this time. <clears throat> if you should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. Everything else you need to know about me is in the description box below. Alright guys, every time you donate to the channel, your name goes into a raffle for a chance to win a free personal reading with me. I do those twice a month. We got one coming up Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Get your donations in, guys. Big or small, it don't matter. All right. Let's get into the energy, Scorpio. <clears throat> this I'm getting the energy of somebody wanting you to be um, be okay with being a secret, okay? That's what I'm getting off the rip. Like, somebody wants you to participate in a triangle. And it's like, no, I'm good on that. I feel like, too, this person don't like that you're so calm about it. Meaning this, you turning this down don't even phase you because it don't, it won't, it will not, it can't. <laughs> just, just on period. <clears throat> so we already know this is definitely somebody from your past because as of right now they ass is done. And that's just period because I don't know, I don't know what fool think you want to be somebody third fucking wheel or somebody secret side chick. Secret society, whatever this is, cause it it is yeah no we are good on that. Promise you that. You can keep that shit moving. What's the energy here for Scorpio? Yeah, what I fucking say? Somebody just wants you to like just be chilling. Look at all three of them chilling and hanging out. It's like Scorpio, like um baby bitches, you crazy. Like, where the hell, what what part of the earth you from? Because the part of the earth that I'm from, this shit right here don't go down with Scorpio. First card out. This, this, this somebody who wants you to be okay with being a secret, though. I'm hearing that like, boy, a side piece or some shit like that. It's like, nah. <clears throat> so we're, you're also pulling men's health, active success, fit. Somebody could be needing to go to a doctor and get a checkup here. I feel like somebody is very fit, but they're not fit. Like they work out a lot, but something something needs to be checked out here. Okay. <clears throat> what else? <laughs> It says, I have to meditate and raise my vibration in this bitch. Yeah, because I, 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 you know, I get the energy like somebody just matter of factly kind of pitched this to you like a, like some type of business deal or like it was, it's good for your spiritual health or your mental health or your love life or, you know, whoever this person is, they like a used fucking car salesman when it comes to pitching this to you. And it's like. Look how you looking at that bitch under these glasses. Like, let me let me raise my vibration. Because, baby, honey, this third eye up here is just really talking to me right now about your motherfucking ass. I'm also hearing, too, like, this This is giving the energy of somebody, you know, almost like the way in the XL when he said, Bernie, would you mind if we, would you mind terribly if we stay home tonight? And she's, like, crushed. And he was, like, I think, why not? Because she... Don't want to be alone tonight. And I was thinking, why should she? It's that type of energy. It's like this person, it's almost like they, they come to you with, look, I don't want to, um, you know, 
play these type of games. I got somebody else. I like you a lot. I just, you know, I, I want you to be a part of this. So I don't want you to be. But this is, you know, it's it's almost a slap in your face because you was thinking this was something more than that. <clears throat> okay, this is somebody who's, you know, they got they got a silver tongue, and I mean, and I do mean silver. Okay, <laughs> just period. Yeah, love. Somebody could be involved in the same sex type deal too. This could be this. You know, they're in the same sex marriage and you like the spice. They want this feminine energy, this divine feminine energy in between them. Every now and then. I don't know, Scorpio. I'm getting weird ass shit from this. Okay. What else here? It says, yes, I love us, but I will protect my family at all costs. Yeah, see, it, it, it's just giving third-party vibes just all the way through this shit. Just like, and then you got two men and a baby here again. And it says, spying, there's something about you that triggers me. <clears throat> I feel like that's what's going on with this person. It's something about you that keeps... You know, you keep coming up or you keep, this person keeps thinking about you. This person, you know, they want access to you, Scorpio. This person, it's not that they want to be honest. It's just that for some reason, this person's arrogance is leading them to think that you would have them any way you, you know, any way possible. And it's like, no, nah, I ain't desperate. Yeah, that that overall energy is medical record. Something very significant about somebody's health here, and it's a it's a masculine energy, okay? Because this card says men's health. I don't know that why that's significant, um, or what significance that has on this reading, but if you know, you know here. Clarify third party. Yeah, this person wants, it's almost like, <clears throat> this, who, whoever these two guys are, they see this as a union, as a divine union with him, his husband, and you. You're like the bride. I'm hearing them call you bride. Clarify third party. They want y'all to be cool with each other. Polygamy. Hang out. Peace. Love. It's that type of energy. All right. Clarify this third party. First energy I scope in. That about a bitch. I told you somebody wants you to be okay with that shit. It's like, what? What's the message for third party for Scorpio? Yeah. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Somebody wants you to, somebody wants you to be happy about this. Somebody wants you you to be on one accord with three fucking people. <laughs> it's like, why would I do that? Shit, two people is enough energy, right? To be trying to figure out and navigate through, but add another soul into this shit? And I don't even know this person? Like, I don't know nothing about this person. I haven't even been on, in this person's energy to know what the fuck I'm dealing with. And you sleeping with them, and it, It's like, for Scorpio, it's a no. The judgment, the ten of swords, and ten of cups in reverse in the judgment. Yeah, this person wants you to do be in like this unconditional, unconventional ass relationship. This person wants you to be accepting of this shit. Like, this person trying to make you feel like this was what you was called to do or some shit. Like, like this a some type of royal duty or something. Are you fucking kidding me? The strength card. This could be a Leo. Don't have to be. I feel like un somebody underestimated you, Scorpio. Some somebody underestimated underestimated your passion, your zeal for life. Like you know how how territorial you are, how loyal you are, how you don't like sloppy seconds. Like period. You don't even you don't even eat leftovers. Like fuck. It, it, it's giving that type of energy because this feels so matter of factly. Like this person approach you like, like it's gonna go down like they think it is. Like bitch, 
Hell no. Nah. I don't want to be involved in no polygamy, nothing. I don't know none of that shit. Yeah, the king of swords on, on men's health. I feel like this person feel like if they tell you the truth about it, you know, you'll be comfortable with it or you'll be okay with it. It's like no, no hell and no hell. The ten of wands. Somebody, somebody, somebody wants you to pick, like, pick up a burden, an extra responsibility. Somebody wants you to actually involve yourself in some fuckery, Scorpio. Like, no. They want you in some same-sex shit. They want you in some other shit. It's like, you don't know these people. You don't know what these people doing with their sex life. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. It's like you motherfucking earth. You mother earth. Why Why would I sleep with y'all? Y'all. Like, no. It's a no next. Now, what, what, what's going to happen next? What y'all going to be asking me to do next? Because I feel like it's that type of energy, too. I feel like this is this person's fantasy or some shit like that. It's like, no, nah, I ain't in the fantasies. It says, I hate, I have to meditate and bring my vibration up in this bitch. First energy you're getting is the hangman. <laughs> Just period. Scorpio, the hangman is, is so telling right here because it's letting me know that you, you know, you taking a minute. Just one minute to, to change your mind about something or to, um, I don't know. This 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 hangman is giving pause to me. It's like you it's like you stopping and taking the time to actually do something different, okay? Do it in a different way or maybe you're trying to just, you know, explain to this person you really not into that, you know. You appreciate the opportunity or whatever, but you going you going to decline. Okay? It feels like but with the with the hangman, hey it just feel like this person trying to change your mind too, and that's why you you you're changing your vibration, your frequency. Can't nobody change your mind about a third party situation like you just don't want to be a part of that shit. I feel like most of our life lessons have been about the third the third party situation, and then look the three of pentacles coming in in the reverse right now, or you having to um. <clears throat> Raise your vibration, cause you know this three, this collaboration that this person trying to trying to force feed you, like it's not. No, I don't want any type of connection with three people. Like I just don't deal with the triangles. Okay, only angles, no try shit. I ain't. I'm. I'm not here to try sexual nobody. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Look, three of swords. Like this person literally wants you to be a part of this. They want you on board. This this feels like somebody too. This feel like somebody who looks at this as like you would be married to them, but not living with them. It's not traditional. Everything is just like man made. I'm hearing like they just keep making shit up as they go with these connections, these weird ass connections. Okay, and they're calling this love, but it's really it's really little boys that's that's you know has this deep inner traumas that they've gotten from other men and instead of them dealing with them you know they they they're still looking for that nurturing feminine energy here and they, they're not going to be able to get it from the same sex not not this type of divine feminine energy this is mother earth gaia this isn't about female versus male this is female ain't no negative and positive okay this period. Clarify this love here. And I feel like love is love. It don't matter whether it's same sex or not. But why are you bringing somebody else into y'all's connection? What is it about y'all's connection that's not solid enough? That you need somebody else in between y'all? I'm also hearing these, these, you know, these people are keeping up appearances. They want people to think they're happily married, but they're really not. These people are unsure of what their sexuality is. Okay, we're getting the eight of wands here. Yeah, it's like these, these this couple should be progressing in their relationship. They should be moving forward or going to the next level in their connection. And I feel like these person, these this couple, these I'm I'm getting the masculine energy. 
these two guys feel like it's no progress without the bride. I keep hearing that something very significant, like, I feel like this is how this person pitches it to you, like you're the bride. You know, it's like you're the feminine energy. Yeah, the hermit in reverse. This is somebody who really think they spiritually enlightening you about something that's new age. And it's like, no, I don't give a fuck if it's New Testament, Old Testament. I'm not going to ever be comfortable with being somebody else's third wheel or, or somebody fucking side piece. The justice card. Like, I, I, I got too much integrity for that. Like, that's just, that's too much. That's this 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 person doing too much. Cause cause I feel like this they're they're really scouting whoever this this same sex couple is. They're scouting for some, for a third person. They're scouting for a third person, and they don't they don't want to keep switching this third person out. They want to solidify whatever this is. All right, it says I love us, but I will protect my family at all costs. Yeah, I feel like. This person loves the idea of y'all, okay? But if they could integrate you in with the same sex, it'd be perfect. And I just get the energy of that's what's going on. I feel like their partner is okay with it too. Both of these guys are bisexual is what I'm getting here. Yeah, the queen of wands. I feel like they're very... They, this guy, whoever this guy is, this masculine, I feel like they're very attracted to your energy, Scorpio. With the Queen of Wands here, your confidence, how you always got it together. Like you always looking like ain't nothing wrong. Just period. This person loves your energy. It feels sexual to this person. The Nine of Wands is here. This person is very determined to make you change your mind. They feel like... All they need to do is wait it out. Something very significant here about perseverance, Scorpio. <clears throat> and then you're pulling the nine of swords. This is a very complicated connection, the same-sex connection. It's very um, auspicious is the word I would say. It's very, it looks one way on, on you know, outside around people at family cookouts at church wherever this is but on the inside if the walls could talk is what i just heard you you'd have we'd have a different view of this connection and they feel like they're missing a bride here okay that's what i'm getting and it says spine There's something about you that triggers me. Okay. Yeah, see, that's what I'm getting. Like, this person, they feel like you are like the spice. You're what they need. Yeah, look, the two of pentacles. First energy out, the two of pentacles. This person feels like this, y'all, three of y'all could work. They feel like this would be a good juggle, okay? And then they wouldn't have to get anybody else... Whoever these guys are, they they see you as divine feminine, Scorpio. <laughs> Just period. I don't. I feel like they're looking at you to have kids. It's it's that type of energy that they're looking for. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. It's like this person is looking way past like the same sex. They're saying like we need this 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 divine feminine for children or for whatever. Whatever this, whatever it is that they would like to accomplish with divine feminine energy, I feel like they feel like it's you. You're the one. You're the person that they would trust to have their baby. You're the person that they trust to be in a threesome with them and not, you know, out them to the world. Because to the world, they just look like they married or something like that. I'm getting that. Okay, what else? They tried it. They need to go check their medical records. Yeah, the devil, I'm telling you, these, it's, it's an obsession. Something about your energy is obsessive to them. I feel like you don't even know the, the husband, but I feel like they want to introduce you. But this person, even though they have not seen you yet, um, Scorpio, they're still, it's like they're intoxicated by your energy. I, I'm not even sure how this other person feels your energy. It could be... 
divination here. This person could be turning cards, trying to seek your Akashic records. They could be going to see a root person on you or something like that, Scorpio. This person is trying to um, just see what this connection is all about. Why their husband wants to bring you in the fold. Okay, why you? It's not, not that they're bringing you in the fold, but why you? Okay, that's what I'm getting. Something very significant about that, okay? But the devil is here. This person, this person is is pure temptation. They this person really, you know, like Scorpio, I feel like you check all the boxes. I feel like you're stable, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're funny, you're nurturing. Um, you have all these positive attributes but what this person don't realize is you you you're not all the way done yet okay you still you you walking this this out through faith okay you're 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 facing your problems and your fears head on but you still got other things and issues that's going on with you on the bottom of the deck you got the knight of swords i feel like you know this this just does not motivate you <laughs> this doesn't stimulate you, Scorpio. It's nothing about a third-party situation that makes you want to be a part of it. Just period. I don't care how somebody cut it up. If you're the married one, not the married one, you don't want to be fucking nobody's husband. It's just as simple as that. You know, and whoever this Knight of Swords is who's so determined to make you all of theirs, it's not going to happen, baby. Check your medical records. Whoever these two same sex is, they need to check the medical records, just period. Something's very significant about that. Why are you trying to recruit other people to sleep with? I'm getting that, okay? Yeah, the three of swords. <laughs> What's the additional messages here for Scorpio? Yeah, I feel like, too, with the Knight of Swords being here, this person really thought they was going to sell you on this idea. It's like, no, they thought you was just going to drink the fucking Kool-Aid. Not Scorpio, boo-boo. We don't drink Kool-Aid. At all. Just period. It says, conclusions are within reach, full moon, eclipse. Yeah. The conclusion is we're concluded. That's what the conclusion is. That's not your... This is not how you view love. This is not how you're going to do love. This is not how Scorpio want to show love or partake in love. I promise you that. It says, believe in the impossible blue moon. Now, that's Scorpio energy. Because this shit right here, this can't be possible. I, Scorpio believe in the impossible. This shit here, it's unreal. <laughs> that's what this is. I can't even... I feel like, Scorpio, you, you're really appalled that somebody even chose you for some shit like this. Like this, period. Like, that ain't even your energy. Yeah, very soon. This shit happening very soon. Somebody approaching you like this. I'm telling y'all, listen. I keep saying this. It's a time right now where people are coming out of the closet. People are, are what they think they're doing is freeing themselves up. They think they're being free. They want to speak their truth, their perception of what the truth is. Because people, sometimes people want, want things long term. They're not just, but it's still all manipulation. Whether they tell you the truth up front or not. If you married to somebody, why you want to sleep with somebody else? Like, that's my whole thing about it. Why you want to bring somebody else in the mix? That's crazy. Just stay unmarried. It says, expect powerful change, Scorpio, new moon, eclipse. You got flirt. And you got getting to know each other. Yeah. I, I, I really keep I really keep getting this energy like <clears throat> I keep hearing like you don't know this partner. You don't know this husband. But this husband know you is something about your energy here. That they're getting to know you without you knowing them, Scorpio, is what I'm getting, which is, I feel like this person getting some type of reading on you, yet a coughing is here. Somebody is sick. One of these motherfuckers sick right here. Somebody passing. 
and they out here recruiting, trying to recruit froze you. That's what I'm getting to. Like, like Scorpio, like, yeah, you, you, you dodged a bullet with this one. You're pulling finances and career here. You could have met this person at work. You had no idea that this person was, I guess, bisexual. Yeah, religious factors are up under the bottom of the deck. It's just like your religious background ain't finna let you be in no shit like this. Like what like who do who asks people to be in situations like this? Whoever this fool is. Let me get some um more information on this, cause like I wanna know where the fuck they from, cause I mean where they do this type of shit at? Yeah, I feel like it's very dangerous for somebody to be consulting like mediums on you or like trying to um, look at your Akashic records or trying to line up where you were in the earth at a certain time so that they can do some type of moon magic. It's like, are y'all fucking, like, come on. It's so crazy, bro. Like, and people don't know that that is selling your soul to the devil. When you send some type of wicked ass shit to somebody that ain't did shit but woke up in the morning, like, this shit don't take a couple of years to come back on you. Somebody finna, somebody finna find out now. Somebody finna fuck around and find out right now what they did, how they, how they, how, how what they wanted for you is already done to them. God was just waiting to release the messengers. What I'm hearing. What else? Tell me more about this person. These two. Tell me about the the partner, the husband that's cloaking themselves in this reading, but trying to find out everything about Scorpio. You're on the bottom of the deck, divine intervention. What I say is, you protect me, Scorpio. It says angels are helping, trust the divine plan, believe in miracles. Period. This, this, this person, whoever this person is, you're you're being spiritually guided away from this shit anyway. Like this ain't about this this you just it, this go this goes totally against who you are, Scorpio. Like period. It's it, it's a definitely no. Yeah, you pulling lessons, love lessons, learn shift shift in perspective, raising your vibrations. There it is again. You raising your vibration, there you are again. You're on a totally different frequency than this. It's like, I, I can't be a part of the fuckery. Not anymore. If you were in the past, Scorpio, it's like, not not from, from where I come from now, from what I know now, what I've been through now, with these lessons, no, I can't participate, participate in fuckery ever again. You're getting secretly stalked, curious about you, not over you, checking social media, yeah. See, this person... They just feel like you're the one for this job for some fucking reason. And it's like, no, nah, I'm really not. <laughs> we got friendship, friend zone, friendship before love, building trust and foundation. Yeah, that's what this person thought. This is how this person views you. Like all y'all could just be friends. This would be like a some type of polygamy type thing. It's like, no, nah, I don't need friends like that. Sacrifice. Sacrifice for love must give up something painful decision. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's almost like you the sacrifice in this connection. You'll be the poke bear for both of these people. What must you give up your freedom? How you want to love. They want you to give that up to be a sacrifice for love. And it's like, why would I do that? We're pulling fights here. I get the energy that this per they're fighting a lot now because this this husband thinks that this person is far more attracted to you than they should be. Especially since y'all haven't slept together. Like they're trying to figure out like what what is this? This love at first sight? What's going on? Habitual liars here it says constantly lying, can't hide, can't hide in lies anymore, lies exposed, yeah. I'm telling you, they arguing and fighting, and this person is is making them tell them the truth. Like, what is it about this person? This person is pulling, paralyzed. I told you, this person is intoxicated by you, paralyzed by love, holding back, fear of falling in love. Yeah, this is this person's husband. They're in fear of falling in love with you and leaving this person. I'm getting that, Scorpio. This is weird. 
You're pulling the gypsy card. They know. It. I'm telling you, they've identified you as the one. It says, knowing the unknowable, unconventional lifestyle, exotic, my mysterious. Yeah. They feel like. They just feel like you you could be the, the spice that they need to bring them back. You know, because I feel like something, I feel like they're doing a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. I feel like, you know, this person not showing the interest that they used to show after, since they met you. It's like falling off type energy here. So, yeah, I feel like they're, they're having a lot of fights. You're pulling the star card, renewed hope, a bright future, doing the healing work. You're pulling abundance, financial blessings, healthy money perspective, financial independence is here. All right. So, yeah, I just feel like with the star and abundance card, Scorpio, it's like, can't nobody sell you a dream. You already have everything you need. You're just looking for companionship. You're not looking for love. You're not looking for a polyg polygamous type relationship. You're not looking to sleep with anybody who's in holy matrimony. It's just what it is. Okay. So let's get a little more energy on these two. Because something underlying going with this, this couple here. Show me these two guys. Show me this guy. Show me both of them. Alright. So on the bottom of the deck, it says, I feel broken inside. Yeah, I feel that. I really feel that. Because for somebody to get married to somebody same sex and then want somebody opposite sex to be like their uh, fluff pillow or something. It just don't make fucking sense unless you need some type of validation. You're trying to, um, you know, a, a whole human being. You talking about spice up your marriage? But you want this person to have a permanent position and this is Scorpio. You act like this shit is inviting the Scorpio? No. It says, I don't feel worthy of love, so I'd rather disappear. Yeah, it's like this person, you know, it's not about, it's about them rekindling their love. It's not about love with you, though. That's what this person is trying to say. But they they want you to act this out. They want you to be in some shit like this is love, but it ain't really love. It's like, what? It says, I'm trying to move on, but it hasn't been easy. Yeah, this person constantly obsesses over you. They think about you all the time. This person feels like if you're not, if you don't do this job, because it feels like a duty. They feel like if something very significant about you caring the children or something, Scorpio, I don't know what the fuck 